Sometimes when I close my eyes and think back to my earliest memories, I think of the people who had the biggest influence on my life. At these times, I always think about my dad. I cherish those memories and am grateful for the way he shaped me into the man that I have become. And now, sometimes when I think about all of you, the dream that we all hold dear, our purpose, and our vision for the future, I also think about him. You know, my mom sometimes tells me that she can feel my dad up in heaven, cheering us on, encouraging us all to keep the dream alive, and is having a blast up there watching our business grow. I believe it is true because you see, the dream of private quarters really started with his dream. Our culture and many of our values are reflections of principles that he believed in, that were passed along to me and are now being passed along to you. So tonight, as our company celebrates our fifth anniversary, I felt it was time for me to introduce all of you to my father, Bill Stroud. Born in Portland, Oregon in 1925, Wilfred Chandler Stroud, Jr. was the only child of Wilfred Chandler Stroud, Sr. and Mabel May Stroud. Willie, Jr., as he was called as a boy, was raised in a small, modest home. Wilfred, Sr. was a manager for Swift & Company Meatpacking, and Mabel was an English teacher at the local school. Mabel May was a devout Christian and a talented poet. In 1935, she published a book of her poetry entitled Time Woven Tapestries. Here is one of my favorites. I must believe, O oh master friend, this thought divinely true to be. However blundering and blind seems life, the plans of thy great mind are being somehow wrought by me. Thy purpose guides to the end. I cherish the copy of Time Woven Tapestries that my dad passed along to me. On the first page it is written, For Will, my son, who is his mother's best poem. When my dad was just a boy, his father, Wilfred Sr., died of a massive heart attack one night in his sleep which left my dad alone with his mother, who raised him herself through middle school and high school. After graduating from high school, dad enlisted in the United States Navy. On completion of his training, he served our country as a communications officer on a battleship in the Pacific at the end of World War II. Following the completion of his service, he was accepted at the University of Oregon where he enrolled with a major in business and economics. Dad was voted Joe College at the university his senior year, a title given to the big man on campus. As Dad grew older, he had a way of standing out from the crowd with a vibrant personality, good looks, and a high intellect. After getting his bachelor's degree, Dad enrolled in graduate school at New York University where he earned his master's degree in retailing. Soon afterwards, he took a job as a management trainee at Bloomingdale's in New York, where he became a buyer for the sporting goods department. One night, when Dad was on a flight from New York to Portland, Oregon to go home to visit his mother, he just happened to have an empty seat next to him. In those days, the flight attendants had to sit in an empty passenger seat during takeoff and landing. A young flight attendant named Joyce Janicki saw Dad and thought he was handsome, so she took the empty seat next to him. Well, and as they say, the rest is history. Joyce Janicki and Bill Stroud were married on April 24, 1954 at St. Patrick's Cathedral in New York City. All I can say is that I'm very thankful for empty seats on airplanes. 
If there hadn't been an empty seat next to my dad on that one particular flight, then I would not be here today, and all of us would not be here, and there would be no PQ. What is it that I always say? Everything happens for a reason. After working several years at Bloomingdale's, my dad got an offer to move to California to be the sporting goods buyer for the Broadway department stores based in Los Angeles. So my mom and dad packed up and moved west to Southern California and began raising their three children, Kathy, Steve, and of course, little Jeffrey, the youngest of the three. At the Broadway, my dad was the buyer for many different departments. He bought sporting goods, then he bought toys. I love that. Books, luggage, and finally, linens and domestics. Dad also was a store manager for the famous Broadway store in Hollywood. There he met a department manager that had an incredible talent for visual merchandise presentation. Her name was Lana Burke. He also met a savvy merchandise manager who was very smart and had a keen eye for color and style. His name was Wayne Selmas. During the years he spent at the Broadway, my dad kept advancing up the ladder, and as he did, he began to form his own unique opinions about how a retail operation should be run. The biggest problem that dad observed at the Broadway was that management was not dedicated to providing a high level of personal service in the stores, and in particular, the bed and bath linen department. He believed that this oversight left an opening for a specialty store competitor offering a higher level of service to enter the marketplace. He noticed that there was no specialty retail store focused on bed and bath linens in California. On that basis, he left the Broadway, took his pension and a second mortgage on our home, and invested it all in a 3,000 square foot store in Pasadena called Stroud's Linen Warehouse. Now that took guts. The thing I remember the most about the way my dad ran the company was that he never compromised on service. He loved to work on the selling floor and interact with the customers himself. He was always looking for new ways to improve service and asked the store managers and sales associates to provide ideas and feedback. Because of this focus, he attracted many people to the company. All of them could see that they were creating a special culture that stood for the joy and gratification that comes when you serve another person. This was his greatest gift to all who joined him. He talked about service all the time, as you can see from this TV commercial that ran in the early 1990s. It's one of my favorites. There's a Stroud behind Strouds. How many times have you gone into a department store, finally found the department you want, only to find no one to help you? Or someone who says, that's not my department. Well, that can't happen at Strouds. Our people are professionals trained to know the difference in our products and how to help you make the best selection. The best linens money can buy. No one has more than Stroud's and no one sells them for less every day. No one. Unfortunately, my dad, like his father, had heart disease. Over the years as Stroud's grew, so did his health problems. After suffering a heart attack, he was given an experimental drug that saved his life. He never forgot what research did for him, so he and Wayne started a special event held every year right here at the Pacific Palms Resort, which in those days was called the Industry Hill Sheraton. The event was a golf and tennis tournament to benefit the American Heart Association. Over 11 years, the events raised $2 million for the cause. Today, it is my privilege to stand on the exact same stage that my dad stood on 10 years ago and to honor him for his service to his family, his company, his country, and his community. You see, to know the simple joy that comes with serving others is to know my dad. His dream was to see a nationwide business 
providing outstanding service to those who wanted to bring comfort into their lives. You and I, together, right here and now, are the fulfillment of his dream. So all I can say is thank you, Dad, for all that you have done for us. We are truly grateful and will carry on your dream to new heights that you never imagined. <laughs>